Why is he in a chokehold? Why is bro in a chokehold? He looks like he is suffocated, just suffering, trying to breathe. Imagine if this was a guy, bro, walking up to a female and putting her in a headlock that she got a train rain on her by all his friends in his neighborhood. This is way worse than I thought it was, bro. I've had a right here, mother you don't whoa, know me. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> anytime y'all feel threatened anytime somebody's pissing you off i will f you right here bro. all right welcome back to the channel man i hope you guys are all doing well taking care of yourselves as always bro doing good in life you know in a good mood today i have a big I have a big ass video for y'all as always and I have to ask this question to all my men bro look how many of y'all would not mind if just some random female walked up to you and like how do I even say this bro like just started begging you to to kiss her to to make out with her would that be weird of course it would be very fucking weird that's a <laughs> <laughs> yo i don't even know how to start these videos sometimes bro our channel we take a look at so much crazy shit like there is no way this is really what's happening but i mean i, I guess i guess let's just get into it bro right here he's uh i don't know if this is harassment or if this is something he signed up for but the video says that she's literally begging him to make out with her and let, let's just watch it if you're new here bro watch this full video through and subscribe do not sub up just because actually like decide if you enjoy the content and if you want to fuck with us in our community then join us if you don't do the exact opposite bro dislike and leave but yeah let's get into it why is he in a chokehold okay i'm <laughs> five seconds in this is obviously just unconsensual bro he did not sign it and if he did he's a fucking kinky ass like this man bro why is bro in the chokehold he looks like he is suffocated just suffering trying to breathe god what is this <laughs> Imagine if this was a fucking guy, bro. Imagine if this was a grown ass man, right? Walking up to a female, to a girl minding her business and fucking putting her in the headlock, like I'm almost choking the shit out of her, trying to kiss her. That man would not just be in jail, bro. I would assume and hope that he would get beat by anybody around. But since it's a girl, I guess it's, I don't know. I don't know what this is, bro. <laughs> That has to be his girlfriend or some shit. Is he licking his finger? What makes this even more weird is the fact they look kind of similar, bro. Maybe even identical. It literally looks like a brother and his. Hold on, let me let me read this the, the fucking title again. It said he didn't want no part of this girl because he allegedly found out that she got a. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Oh shit, that she got a train rain on her by all his friends in his neighborhood. This is way worse than I thought it was, bro. Holy fuck. No wonder why she wants to kiss him. The bitch was trying to finish the job, bro. Get everybody in. Yo. Bro, if you don't push that dumbass bitch off of you, man. Yo, <laughs> I, I just don't understand how some men are. Well, I, I do because then you're, you would get accused of all types of assault and shit, right? But in that case, bro, you have every right, literally every fucking right to push her off of you because she is literally and genuinely sexually assaulting you, man. She's, ugh, bro, and she probably stinks like shit. God fucking damn. Uh, hey, man, 
I that's just that's fucked up. All I can think about is if the roles were reversed, bro. Like, yo, that shit is sick. And the guy behind the camera, I was in the beginning of the video gonna ask, like, why is he not stepping in? But he did the right thing. That's just none of your business. You don't want to get involved in that. But yeah. Hey, this next video is uh apparently uh something involving a presidential entourage. It says this uh Pakistan's finance minister entourage. Let's just watch this. I, I don't know what this is. You are the joke. Hey, shut your mouth. Don't shout. I fuck you right here, motherfucker. You don't Whoa. know me. Whoa. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I fuck you right here, motherfucker. You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro said, I will fuck you right here, you motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I, I, that's, that is a very effective threat. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Tell me, don't motherfucker try to be smart ass. I'm fucking right here. <laughs> Yo, what makes this shit 10 times funnier for me, bro, is the fact that he literally believes that, he, like, he probably heard the Americans cuss at each other or some shit, so he's like, he does not know he said some wild, bro, I need to run this, I'm sorry, I need to run this shit back, hold on. No, don't shout! I fuck you right here, motherfucker! You don't know me! Don't motherfucker try to be smart ass! I fuck you right here! Motherfucker! Yo, you you bro, any anytime y'all feel threatened, anytime somebody's pissing you off or shouting or being annoying, literally just hit him with this uh Mr. Pakistan's finance minister's uh, you know, just just line. I will fuck you right here, bro. Say that to a man when you're about to fight him, and I promise you he's gonna freeze up. Not because he's scared, but because of the f I, I mean, yeah, that too, but it's just uh, it's a statement that's just it's it's a uh, just a statement bro let's just let's move <laughs> let's move on we got this last video i don't know what the fuck this is but we got a, a, a creature climbing a wall let's see understand that but you're trespassing you're threatening me with a weapon climbing oh, a wall shit. yeah i have you anybody i have you on camera and oh, i have I'm you, not threatening you, you, you were, go okay is this your plant is this your property no it's not it would be against the law for you to climb that wall and to cut these plants. I'm gonna cut it down I'm about to blow up the goddamn place! Okay, now you're threatening to blow up the goddamn place? Oh, I'm calling the cops, bitches. Diane. You goddamn Have bastard, the... son of a bitches! You too, Diane. I'm, I'm confused, bro. Hey, what is that? I I can't tell if this if this uh if this a bro or something else. Uh have a good day. Also, imagine like <laughs> walking out in your backyard and see this, bro. What the fuck am I watching? I'm gonna send this to the city and send this to the police department. Have a good evening. Good. Good. Have a good night. I'm gonna have my camera set so if anything happens, I'll know exactly who did it. I'm gonna get a hold of that goddamn. I can't get a hold of Alex They you know won't what? answer their phone. Diane, all you had to do was ask me for their number. I would have given I it have to you. Then give me another number. Okay, I will. A number but what incentive answer. do I have to give it to you? Now that you've treated me like this, I have no incentive to give you any positive politeness at all, do I? You, you were nothing but rude and belligerent. Have a good day, ma'am. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, yes, you too. Thank you. Okay. Yo. <laughs> All I can say about that is, and y'all can let me know in the comments if y'all agree with me, but I hope we all get rich to the point where, or at least me personally, this is what I prefer, bro, a house by itself. Like, that's the end goal, bro, is a fucking mansion. Not even a mansion, just a compound, right? A, a nice compound with all the things you ever need just by yourself, man. Because living in neighborhoods, living in just, you know, areas like this where there's a lot of people around you that you have neighbors and shit, it can be a very positive experience if you you're in the right neighborhood bro if you're around your people if you're around people that are you, if you have good neighborhoods man you can throw parties and shit it's a positive experience but if you're stuck with a fucking lunatic like this i mean what what are you gonna do bro move no you just you just have to deal with their bullshit especially the worst thing that i've seen on, in a lot of content and in real life bro is some snitch ass petty neighbors they will
will ruin the experience and just ruin just just be annoying to you bro so yeah hey man i think i'm in this video right here this one was a good uh <laughs> This one was, uh, I can't say it was good, but the fucking statement, bro, the, the pickup line or whatever, the, the threat, <laughs> the threat that that minister said, I, I, that shit is hilarious. Hey, y'all can let me know in the comments what y'all think of this whole video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, run a likes up as always. Go follow my Instagram at Spirit ENT. I will be responding to some of my DMs if I get the chance to. I'll be talking to y'all, showing love bags. So go run my IG up if you're not already. Get on the Patreon as well. I will be posting a new video on there very, very soon. Probably after this video goes up. So if you're on the Patreon, bro, stay tuned for that. If you're not, get on there. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one, bro. Take care.